My name is Lorraine Moore, and this is Madeline, a cockatoo, umbrella cockatoo, and Rainbow, our conure. Today we're going to talk about birds that chew and pluck their feathers. First off, we want to tell you that you're not alone. We get emails, pictures, and phone calls from all around the globe for other bird lovers that are having similar problems. And we know it can be very disturbing. Birds pick or pluck their feathers for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it can be a change in the household. Someone goes back to work, a family illness, a divorce, or even a new baby. Sometimes it can be related to the birds themselves. They could have been neglected in the past, or they could need more social interaction or stimulation. Sometimes it can be a hormonal imbalance or even a toxicity. And for that reason, we recommend that you check with your avian vet initially to see what the problem might be. Feather plucking can become a habit once it starts. And we've been working for over 15 years to design a line of feather protectors that will protect your bird. The goal of our protectors is that it covers the vulnerable area of the bird so that the new feathers can grow in. Today we're going to talk about three types of feather protectors. It's very important that you get the right feather protector for your bird. We're going to offer you some guidance today. If you need additional help, please feel free to call us or email us. The first type of feather protector we're going to be talking about today is our mild feather protector, which is modeled by Rainbow. Step up, Rainbow. The mild feather protector is made of fleece. As you can see, it has a little fleece fringe on the front, which you can trim to the appropriate length. This is a good distraction for your bird and it offers them something to play with. It has a Velcro strip down the back and two elastic straps that go up and over the wings. So it's very easy on and very easy off. It's meant to cover the upper chest and upper back for birds that either have just started to pluck or just occasionally pluck their chest feathers. It's also very good, since it is lightweight, for the smaller birds. We just recently introduced our smallest size, which is extra small, which is especially for lovebirds. And we go through size colossal, which is for our blue and gold friends. The mild feather protector, it's lightweight. It has a soft interior that goes next to your bird's chest. It's a very good option for birds that have just begun to start to pluck. Our second uh, feather protector I'm going to talk about today is our deluxe back closure feather protector. This is a medium weight feather protector and it's geared for the larger birds. As you can see, this one is very colorful. It has uh, a couple of layers of knit, an elasticized or ribbed waist. It has a Velcro closure on the back. So this protector is very nice because it's easy on and easy off. It doesn't have to go over your bird's head. When you open it up, you will see a fleece interior, which is next to your bird's skin, so it's very soft and fuzzy. And it has two Velcro side tabs that go underneath the wing of your bird. With all feather protectors and our flight suits, we recommend that you do do the conditioning first, which is where you would take it and pin it onto your shirt for a period of three to five days before you put it on your bird so they're not afraid of it. And then when you have it on your bird, offer a lot of positive reinforcement, favorite snacks, verbal praise, one-on-one -on -one time with you away from the cage, and so on. This feather protector, which is our deluxe back closure feather protector, comes wide through Colossal, and it comes in a variety of colors and prints. The most important thing about this feather protector is its function, but if you have a particular color in mind, you're welcome to say that on the comments section, and we'll do our very best to accommodate you. This feather protector protects the upper chest and the back. In addition to that feather protector, you can also customize it. You can add a leather patch to the front. You can add a leather fringe. And as a sample here that I have in front of me, you can actually add a fleece skirting to the front and to the back to make it longer and to uh, pr protect more exposed area. So there's a variety of things you can do with the back closure feather protector. Our third feather protector we're gonna talk about today is the Deluxe High Neck Feather Protector. It's our suit of armor feather protector, the heaviest one that we make. And it's again for larger birds, size wide through Colossal. This one, as you can see here, has a reinforced neck. 
has a leather patch on the very front to protect the chest. It's made of multi-layer knit. Actually on the chest patch, we sew that with Kevlar thread. And on the inside, it has a layer of fleece next to your bird's chest. And it has, believe it or not, bulletproof material in there, Kevlar fabric. We have neoprene side flaps to protect the birds uh, under the wings from the side tabs. Reinforced leather side tabs and reinforced Velcro neck tab. So it's very heavy duty. It slips over the bird's head, meant to protect the upper chest and also the back. The back actually extends down a little bit toward the tail. So we're very proud of this feather protector and we've been tweaking it and going back and forth with our feather protectors for over 15 years to get just exactly what you need. This feather protector can also be customized. You can add a heavy duty snap to the neck tab or the side tabs. You can even take the leather patch on the chest and extend it over the entire panel. And if need be, we can open up the back and have it be just fit as a jacket. Those are things that you would want to call and talk to us about. So now we're going to put this suit of armor on the Madeline so I can show you how to put it on. We're going to use the stretchy neck, high neck feather protector. The first thing you want to do is undo the Velcro on the side tab, just like this, and the neck tab. And just lay it open on the table. Again, conditioning first before you put it on your bird. Madeline, will you step up for me, please? Oh, she's decided she doesn't want to step up. Come on, Madeline. Thank you so much. The first thing you want to do with this feather protector, take your bird, comfort your bird, is you want to just slip your hand inside the feather protector like so. Put her on a flat surface. Okay, now, thank you so much. And you're going to actually pet her head while you're sliding the feather protector down over her head, just like this. Comfort her, talk to her. You're doing a great job, Madeline. Very good. I'm very proud of you. And you're going to pull the chest part down. Ooh, excuse me, Madeline. Gently pull the wings out to the side and fasten these side tabs, just like so. You may have to go back and adjust them later. But for now, you just want to gently take their wings out from the side. It's easier if your bird is clipped. They can be unclipped, but it's much easier to work with your bird if he is clipped. Then you're going to fasten the neck tab in the back. And again, you want it to fit snug, but you don't want it to fit tight. So if you can get your pinky in around the neck and across the middle here, you're doing fine. We're going to make that just a little bit tighter on Madeline now that we've got it on her so that it doesn't gap out in the front. It is a heavy feather protector, but it's very comfortable. It's very soft next to the skin. And it should fit just, just on the top of their legs so they still can move around freely, eat freely, and get around the cage without any problems. All of our feather protectors, we do recommend that you supervise them and watch them as they uh, get introduced to it so you can see how they acclimate to it. You don't want your bird to be stressed. And so that's a very important part of the process. Right, Madeline? Now, we're gonna show you a different angle of putting that high neck feather protector on. Madeline's gonna help me demonstrate. So this is the high neck feather protector, the side tabs, Velcro with leather, covering. It has a stretchy neck, that's one of our options for the high neck, and it has a neck tab. You open the entire feather protector up, and we're going to slide this feather protector up our arm this time. Oops, I actually have to do it this way. Come here, Madeline, will you help me? So you take your bird, put him towards you, and comfort your bird, pet him a little bit, 
what you're going to do, oh, hold on Madeline, hold on, she loves the Velcro on these things. What you're going to do is you're going to slide, while you're petting your bird, you're going to slide this feather protector right down his head. Right down his body, just like that. Don't worry about the neck right away. What we're going to concentrate on first is just pulling his wings from the side, fastening the side tabs, kind of get his wings situated there. Okay, Madeline. And this one on this side. That neoprene insert goes under the wing. Let's fix that a little bit, Madeline. There we go, under the wing, perfect. Fasten the Velcro on the neck, the neck tab. And then you just want to go back and make sure that when it's all together, that those side tabs are reaching far enough back so that this fits nice and conform to the body. So that's the high neck stretchy version in size jumbo for an umbrella or a cockatoo.